Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beninen and for today's video we are going to be doing another sunscreen review. Today we will be talking about a sunscreen from Round Lab. This is the Round Lab Birch Juice Moisturizing Sunscreen with SPF 50 plus PA of 4 plus. Um, this is the 2021 version. Um, I think the original one only had like two filters in it and the third party testing came out with like an SPF of like 20 or something like that. But they reformulated it and now they include four filters. Gins Institute of Korea did some third party testing and they found that it came out with an SP of 50. So this is a nice verified Korean sunscreen. Um, and they did go ahead and add some more filters in there. So there are four filters now instead of two so but we will talk about the background the ingredients and then I'll show you guys what it looks like with makeup and without makeup and then kind of give you some recommendations for who I think this would be a good sunscreen for it contains Uvenol A plus Uvenol T150 Tinosorb M which is that filter we talked about in the last video um, it kind of works as a hybrid where it reflects um, UV rays and it also absorbs it so it's like a mineral filter in a way but also like a chemical filter the Tinosorb M is one that can sometimes have a Y cast in it but I didn't really experience a whole lot of that with this sunscreen so I really think it depends on how it's formulated. It also contains Uvenol HEB and that is a chemical filter. Some of the other key ingredients in here is it contains hyaluronic acid which I feel like everything contains hyaluronic acid these days but it also contains niacinamide so keep that in mind if you are sensitive to niacinamide. It has their signature birch water or birch sap water. They claim that it's an antioxidant and it helps to absorb some oils and then it also contains licorice root extract which is an antioxidant and some chamomile oil so some really nice like soothing um, ingredients in here so let me show you the packaging this is what it looks like it just comes in a plastic tube thing I guess um, when I got it it is sealed so that's good to know that it's sealed and then um, I took the seal off and this is what it looks like I like that the little hole on here is very small, easy to measure out. So this is what the texture looks like. It is a nice like sun milk, milky lotion feel. It's very lightweight. It spreads out very easily. You're really going to get that nice Korean sunscreen feel to it where it's lightweight. It rubs in quickly. It looks nice. And see, I've barely rubbed this in and it looks great. So I really like the texture of this and it's not sticky or greasy or anything like that. It really just has a nice normal finish to it. This doesn't have any fragrance in it and it does have like that chamomile oil but it's like way at the end of the list and there's not a whole lot in here so it really it doesn't smell like anything um, and you guys know I have a sensitive nose so I like when things are fragrance free so that's a bonus for me. It says that it's alcohol free. There is some butyl alcohol. It's a very small amount again at the end of the ingredient list um, so it's not really anything concerning but if you're really sensitive to alcohol maybe. So I picked this up from Salvana at the time. It was retailing for $17.99 and I got 50 milliliters of product. So I've been wearing this for a week and I think I have footage from like the first three days that I used it. On the first day I wore it on bare skin where I just washed my face and then I put sunscreen on and that was it. So when you first spread it out, it does look white. So I like that personally so I can make sure that I'm covering all the areas and then it dries down clear. The finish is a very lightweight, normal finish. This isn't gonna give you glow per se. Um, you're not gonna look oily or greasy or shiny or glowy or anything like that, but it's also not matte either. So I didn't feel drying or stripping or anything like that. My face just felt like normal. So definitely one that you can wear on a day that you don't have other products underneath. I will say though that I had a little slight, very slight cast in my eyebrows and that may have been due to the Tinosorb M. Like I said, that is one where you may sometimes get a cast. For me, I was only seeing the white pigments in my eyebrows, but it was no big deal. I just kind of rubbed it in a little extra and like flaked it off a little bit and it worked out fine. So as you guys know, I have oily slash combo skin. Right now it's leaning more towards combo because we are in the winter months. 
where my t-zone is pretty oily but then everywhere else is kind of dry and I thought this sunscreen did a really nice job balancing everything out my dry areas feel hydrated moisturized and then my oily areas they don't feel um, like anything heavy on there or like it's making me extra greasy so after the two hours you're gonna see a little bit of shine on my forehead and that's about it and that's really like not even a big deal for me that's normal for me so I almost didn't even need to blot but I did went ahead and just blotted a little bit on my t-zones and then I reapplied the sunscreen reapplication on bare skin was great I did not feel like the reapplication made it feel heavier or stickier or like any worse. It felt just as good as it felt on the first application. Oh, I forgot to mention that I did apply this on my eyes and I didn't experience any stinging, any burning, nothing like that. So great sunscreen for people who wear sunscreen around their eyes or maybe in the summer if you're sweating or anything and you're worried about the sunscreen getting into your eyes. I did not experience any issues with that at all. Day two, I wore it with my normal skincare underneath. So for me, that is my acne serum and a moisturizer. And then I put the sunscreen on top. This day it felt good too. I think I did look a little bit more glowy than I did on day one, but it didn't feel heavy sitting on top of my other like light moisturizer or anything like that. Um, I do think the finish looks really well. I feel like it blended out just as easily. So this is what I'm looking like after two hours. Um, as you guys will see, I look a little bit more shiny than I did on day one. And that's probably because I have a moisturizer on. I have other products underneath. But I don't look greasy or anything. Um, again, I just went ahead and blotted. And this time I feel like I actually did need to blot unlike the first application. But I went ahead and blotted a little bit and then reapplied. And the reapplication again was very nice. It didn't feel heavy or anything. Obviously, it felt like I had a little bit more product on because in this case, I did have my... Um, acne serum I did have a moisturizer I had the first layer of sunscreen and now this is the second layer of sunscreen it did feel like I had products on my face but it didn't feel heavy the last day I wore this I wore it with makeup so had my sunscreen on and then I put my makeup on top of it and it wears beautifully under makeup and this is what it's looking like and then after two hours I came back and as you guys will see, I again, I have oily skin, so I'm oily in my T-zones, but everywhere else I'm not oily at all and it looks great. So I went ahead again and blotted. I ended up using this to reapply over makeup and I was a little bit nervous <laughs> because it is a milky texture, but it's not like water, you know? So I went ahead and used a beauty blender and it actually worked out pretty nicely. I was able to pat it in pretty easily on top of my makeup and when it dried down, I feel like it dried down looking nice, like a normal finish I wasn't like extra glowy I did end up putting a little bit of powder but that's just me I just like when I'm wearing makeup to have like a nice matte base because I know that my oils will seep through but you don't really need to put a powder on top of this so now I'm gonna talk about my overall experience and who I would recommend this product for I feel like this could really work for like any skin type if you have like very oily skin you can wear it solo and it doesn't feel like it feels dry you know it's still hydrating and moisturizing enough so you can wear it by itself um, but if you are really dry it's one that layers really nicely over other products also for people who have acne prone skin like myself this is one that did not cause me any breakouts I didn't experience any extra like cystic acne or anything like that I will say when you guys are looking at the footage that was recorded towards the end of my cycle you know mother nature so i was experiencing breakouts from that but i continued wearing it and i didn't have any like extra breakouts so i'd say that this is pretty acne safe um if you have sensitive skin um it does have niacinamide in it so if you are sensitive to that probably avoid it or skip it um, it also has hyaluronic acid if you're sensitive to that avoid it also this did not irritate my eyes or anything um, I love that it's fragrance free I love that it blends in smoothly sits nicely with makeup without makeup so overall I had a great experience with this sunscreen if you guys have tried this round lab birch juice moisturizing sun cream and you enjoyed it let me know if you tried it and you hated it also let me know and don't forget to leave your sunscreen recommendations down in the comment section below and that'll be all for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!